my name is Manu Blechschmidt and in this video I want to show how the user authentication with IDP and our DC flow works for the EPA for all. I'm the CEO of uh, Service Health ERX GmbH and we decided to create an open source implementation of the EPA for all. So first let's start with a little bit of the theory. So we have uh, our normal uh, PMS system, so our practice management system, and we have the EPA for all, EPA for all, and then um, the EPA for all itself, there is an authorization server, which is part of it. So all it's not only a server, it's a whole service, also the authorization service. And then there is uh, an IDP as well, IDP. So, um, and this PMS, there is a connector, connector, and this connector, it has a car terminal, in the car terminal there is a SMCB, so here is a SMCB, SMCB, on this SMCB there is um, a key pair, so which is uh, typically called C out, C out, um, and it contains the certificate itself and also a private key. Uh, you won't get the private key. So the private key is private; it stays on the on the card, but you can get the certificate, and this is part of this whole exercise. So uh, this is this SMCB, and then we have the e health card terminal. E KT. So this goes in here and then the connector communicates via uh, SICCT with the connector and then this practice management system connects via SOAP to the connector and then the PMS, uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm will explain what's happening. So the PMS, it needs um, two tokens, um, it needs a uh, Client attestation token and an IDP token. So, um, for for the IDP token, how it works? Um, it first starts with sending a request um, on the authorization service um, to get a nonce. So, get nonce. Um, and I, I think the authorization service is already vow protected. I won't get into the vow in, in this video. I will explain it in the next video. So now the uh, PMS has this nonce, and what it has to do is it has to create a signed JWT token of this nonce. And this signed WT token, there's one part where you can find it. It's in the EPA basic repository in the um, authorization service examples. So there is this JWT and basically it contains this nonce. Also and actually it's not a JWT, it's, it's JWS, so it's a signature part. And the PMS will use the SMCB, the private key with the external authenticate function to create a signature here. So here's a signature. So this is one part. And this is called client attestation, this whole thing here. So if, if you go into the spec, you will find the name client attestation. And this works by getting this nonce and then signing it via the connector. So this is what the, what the PMS system is doing. So, okay, so this is one stuff. You, hold, you get this nouns, you uh, create this client test, and then uh, you wait. Um, and then the PMS, what it's doing, it's calling another uh, authorization service um, URL. Uh, and uh, let me just, so there's this nuns, this get nuns, and the other one it's called, uh, I have to check the source code, how it's called. So it's called, Send authorization request. It's called. Uh, it's here. The, here's the URL. So it's send authorization request underscore sc. So this is how this URL is called. So 
so this goes in here and then the response is a request with a location so um, there it's getting back an HTTP response HTTP response and there's a location header in it and the location header contains multiple data and based on this location header that you find here in this response you have to build the URL for the IDP so here there, there is an authorization URL for, for the IDP and you are building this authorization uh, request so auth uh, authentication request and you're copying lots of the values from this location guy here into this authentication request so this is what you get then basically uh, you get back a challenge authentication challenge uh, and this authentication challenge you have to create another uh, you have to sign parts of this challenge so you take the challenge and then you also uh, sign this with this SMCP and you, you uh, send it back. So I think it's a do uh, uh, perform or it's, I think it's called perform authentication, perform authentication. So, and, and, and this one has a signed, um, a signed part for the SMCP in it. Uh, and then in the end you get uh, authorization code. So the last thing that you get here is also uh, authorization code. This is what you get back here from the IDP. And then what you do is you take this client attestation. So this client attestation. And the authorization code. And you are sending this also to this authorization service, and then the authorization service it will give you back the VNP. VNP. So NP stands for Nutzer pseudonym. In English, it would be user pseudonym. And this is uh, what you basically. This is one part what you will need for for your EPA session. It's not everything. So you also have to build the V handshake. But but I will tell you a little bit about this later. Uh, now I can show you how this works in the code. So we have our IDP client, it's here, and we have an IDP client test, it's here. And the IDP client test, it builds the IDP client with all the different kinds of things that you need. So it's fil it's filling the, the SOAP services, it's filling the REST services, and um, now I can just run it, and it will only work in my network because there's a connector in my network, There there is a setup IDP reference environment in my network, um, and now in the end, it's uh, producing, uh, let's run it again. In the end, it's producing this NP token, but also on the way on, on producing it, um, it produces the, uh, here's the auth authorization code that I spoke about, and here's the client attestation code. And in the end, this uh, user pseudonym for the V is created. And you can see all different kinds of things here. So here's the setup for all the connector SOAP services. And there is a client certificate used, um, and I'm using my local things. Then here's the context types for the connector. Um, there is the correct SMCP selected. Um, then uh, let me show you more. Um, there is this um, get VNP function called. Here we are we are getting the nouns. So this is the first thing what, what I started with, with the, in the video. Um, we are reading the certificate because the certificate is needed in, in some of the JWT tokens. Um, here, for example, we are doing, uh, yeah, we, here we are reading the certificate. We might have to verify the pin of the SMCB. Um, then uh, we are creating this client test um, JWT token. We, we are signing it here with the SMCB. And also, if you look into this function, you can see that we are calling the external authenticate function. Uh, and actually, it's here. Here we are calling the external authenticate. External authenticate, it's signing. And in the end, um, we are doing the whole dance here with the authorization request. Uh, and then here we have the token. 
thanks a lot and talk to you soon. Bye bye.